Right, so hey everyone, and welcome back to another budget photography video. So, I'm a massive phone geek. Massive phone geek, not landlines, but uh, mobile phones. I love them, I really enjoy the amount of technology that can be fitted within a mobile. And in 2019, I picked up the Huawei P30, not the Pro, the P30, because it had everything that I needed. It has an amazing camera, a really nice screen, and fast charging which is everything that I actually wanted in a phone at the time. But I broke the phone. I'm not kidding, I genuinely broke my phone. And I thought, you know what? It is time to go a little bit bigger. So this is, was my P30 Pro. As you can actually see, I've had to put a case. I don't like case. Well, you know, people have spent hours designing these things and for me to put an ugly case on it, it just kind of ruins it. But I've had to put a case on it because it looks like one of Jerry Rig Everything's D-brand skins. The back, the back fell off. So you can see the battery and the camera modules and everything. And while that does look aesthetically pleasing, because yes, it does look really, really cool in my opinion, it's not really something that is feasible for me to continue using. So I'm only going to be continue using that phone for a little bit longer as more of a backup phone for bits and pieces because there's still accounts on there that... Anyway, moving forward, what am I going to be using? Well, I had to have a think and I spent the last two or three months thinking about it and I came to this, the Samsung Note 20 Ultra. And whilst I was looking into the phone, there were a lot of reviews about it saying how good of a phone it was but not really many saying how good the camera was. Now, there were a few saying how good the camera was, but not really what I wanted. So, I thought with today's video, I would show you guys what I want to see, because, well, this is my channel, frankly, and it's what I want to see on YouTube. So, so no, this won't be a normal phone review. I'm not gonna talk about how big the battery is. I'm not gonna talk about how big the screen is or how good the screen is or how really nice it looks or anything like that. Although I will go over some of its specs. So on the camera module side, we have a 108 megapixel main sensor with a 12 megapixel ultra wide and I believe a 12 megapixel telephoto periscope zoom. We have a basically a 2K display. We have a huge, huge, absolutely mahemoth screen at 6.9 inches. It's probably one of the biggest mobile phone screens out there, but the Samsung Note range is well known for making phablets, they're called, big phones, phone tablets, tablets, phones. And yes, of course, because it is a Note, we do have, of course, the S Pen. And that is actually something that previous to this phone, I never thought I'd really use, but over the last two days, I've actually used it quite a lot. Now, I don't know whether or not that usage will go down over the next year or two years. It might do, it might not. Who knows? We'll have to see. It is raining, by the way. We do have a very respectable 4,500 milliamp hour battery cell within the Note 20 Ultra, but it is using the inferior Exynos chip. So your batteries may vary compared to a Snapdragon variant. So the main thing that I am actually interested in isn't the screen or the battery or the processor. It's, it's that camera. I'm a camera nerd after all. That's why I do what I do here. I love cameras, sensors, lenses, anything to do with that. And especially when you've got 108 megapixels, you, you kind of piqued my interest here, Samsung you kind of piqued my interest. So this is the 8K. I mean, this is probably going to be converted down to 4K, but I'm filming in 8K right now. And I mean, the screen is already really, really nice anyway. So it looks okay. Um, probably not really good on stabilization. Um, let's have a little jump. Uh, it looks okay. And then if we turn around, I've had to put my camera actually just there. Oh, that's fast at focusing. Yeah, give it that. Oh, now that's the focusing. That is pretty, pretty good, really. Uh, I've had it under there because it is raining, but I am recording audio on it. So it is recording at the same time. So let's have a little bit of a run. So you can see the stabilization. Um, it's not really very good, to be fair, at 8K. 
and then turn around and run back. And of course, for some reason, Samsung have tried to, well, not tried to, but they have, they have um, cropped in. This isn't really that wide. Bearing in mind that I'm that far away from them towers. You know, and I'm now standing actually in the same place of where I was standing when I recorded the, the intro to this video. So um, it looks a lot closer than it actually is. So that's 8K. But that is, it's nuts the fact that something like this smartphone here can record 8K. I mean, if you want to turn it around and actually do kind of this, you probably could, but there is a massive crop, so I wouldn't really advise it in 8K. Maybe in 4K where there's no crop. But why don't we go down to the 4K? So this is the 4K footage. It looks okay, it looks fairly decent. Seems a little bit more stable as well than the 8K. And you can actually see it's a lot wider. Now this isn't using the ultra wide camera. This is just using the normal kind of lens here, the main lens. Again, that focusing is pretty good. That isn't like a bokeh or effect, that's natural. So that's that's pretty damn good. So um, turn around and then we'll have a little bit of a run. <sighs> Stabilization seems good. That is just it going back and forth. It's just me. Not very good at running. A uh, little bit fat, so. But it seems okay. Again, let's go stand back over here. So that is where you can see it's a lot wider, really, actually. Because again, I'm standing exactly where I was standing earlier on, and there's the camera. So. Well, all my stuff really. And you could probably vlog like this on this main sensor at 4K, so it's pretty good. So of course, the Note 20 Ultra's 100 megapixel pictures and 50 times zoom is probably its main feature. So if we actually go to the ultra wide, Samsung's well known for their ultra wide cameras. So let's, all now that is wide like really wide. It is a lot wider than my previous phone. And I don't, I'd actually always forget how wide that is actually, to be fair. Um, that is really quite wide. Now we do have a, basically a telephoto camera. So let's zoom in. So this is still using the periscope zoom on the front of that camera. And now we've about stopped, I think we've got five times. So we have now stopped, but we can zoom having a little bit of trouble with focusing just there. But I don't know if you guys can actually see that little, and uh, it's focused on my finger and zoomed out, I think. But there's a little yellow thing um, just over there. Not the first one to your left, but the one to the right. I think we'll zoom in onto that and see how that is. So we're going 17, 20, 30, 40, and 50. We can see a person over there actually, but it's a jittery, jittery mess. We'll take that. I think the best thing to probably have with this would be one of these. And that is a DJI Osmo or a phone gimbal really. Um, I would really recommend this, although I did have problems with this, but it wasn't really its fault. This phone is very, very, very heavy. So it's asking if I want to turn on 108 megapixel, which we'll get to in a second. But this device is very heavy. I think it said it was like four grams heavier than the Note 10. So it is a very, very heavy device. So we do have the 108 megapixel sensor just here at the bottom. So I think we'll let's have a look at that. So obviously that's going to zoom in, or crop in, sorry. So let's take a nice 108 megapixel sensor picture and that seems to have recorded something I swear I think <laughs> we just want to take a picture that's my fault so there we go we got a little shutter noise and a little haptic kind of feedback it is really good I like the colors that we're getting here on the grass and on the building just there and this focusing is just amazingly good I bet if I was to come here I don't know, is there any background blur around me? Am I close enough? Am I far away enough? I don't know. But it seems really, really 
good. Now, there are a few features on here that I do miss, so I'm gonna go back over to the normal camera and we will, and I will tell you. So if there was one feature that I do wish I had on the Note 20 Ultra is light paintings. And when I say light painting, that probably sounds a bit weird, but no, on the Huawei P30, I could create long exposures. And when I say long exposures, what it would basically do is turn something like this lake behind me into a nice smooth long exposure by capturing lots of different pictures and combining the, all of them. It would take as many as I, as many as I asked it to really. And then I do wish it would put a slider for the night mode to make it easier to get to because otherwise at the moment you have to slide all the way to the more button and then push night mode. I don't want to have to do that Samsung. Please, please, please just chuck it in the sliders. Please. Now, as I said, it does have 108 megapixels, which we've already had a look at, and it is really, really nice, but there's a problem. 108 megapixels on a small sensor can look very, very crap, to put it bluntly. And a lot of the time, yes, it does. 108 megapixels is just ridiculous. But most of the time, you're not going to be shooting 108 megapixels. You're going to be shooting the standard 12 which kind of defeats the purpose in my mind of having 108 megapixels. But what you can do is when you actually have it on the normal 12 megapixel setting, you have a bigger sensor because it combines two pixels into one, which makes it a bigger pixel, which means that the pixel can get more light, which will mean a better dynamic range and a better quality picture and also better low light ability. So in theory, uh, the Note 20 Ultra should do pretty damn good at low light. Now, what I will say is this device is very, very expensive. At £1,180, it is extremely expensive. Now, yes, that is an extortionate amount of money, but in my mind, that is quite fair. Bearing in mind that you're getting a lot for your money, and that has kind of always been the Samsung Galaxy Notes kind of thing. If you want the biggest and most extreme phone, then that's what you, the note is what you get. But with there being 108 megapixels on the S20 and with the S21 being released on the 14th of January, 2021, it kind of begs the question, what even is the point of having a note? Well, you might say the S Pen. No, because according to rumors, I cannot clarify fully because I don't really know, but according to rumors, the new S range is going to have S Pen support and you can buy a case that will have uh, space for an S Pen. Now, whether these rumors do turn out to be true or not is another thing, but it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a Note phone when you can get an S20 or an S21 or whatever and buy it separately if you want it. But there are rumors that the Note 21 won't really exist. But again, that is only rumors and I highly doubt that that will happen personally. So for now, the Note 20 is a really, really good phone. I'm thinking about doing a low light test. Yeah, I think we'll do a low light test. Now there is one problem with this phone that I didn't actually realize until I wanted to hook one of these microphones to it so that I could get better audio. It, um, it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which on my P30, it did have. It, it has a headphone jack. Now, 99% of the time I use headphones. I use Bluetooth Bose headphones, which is perfectly fine. They're really nice headphones, but I wanted to record um, audio rather than having to record it externally. So that is a bit of a bummer, but we are getting rid of pulse. So it is now rumored as well that the iPhone 13 won't have a port, a charging port, basically.
So it would actually appear that I didn't record an outro. Uh, I'm currently editing right now and I don't have an outro. So this is it. Anyway guys, the S20 Ultra is an amazing phone and I will probably be making a few more videos on the phone, delving deeper into it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.